it is a college tradition to give an outstanding graduate, selected by our undergraduate students, the opportunity to address the commencement assembly on behalf of their fellow students. This year, they have selected Mia Simon to represent them. Mia is, a graduate, is graduating with a degree in broadcast journalism and a minor in leadership studies. She hails from Prince George's County, Maryland, where she attended Elizabeth Seton High School. While at the University of Maryland, Mia held internships at Voice of America News and the British Broadcasting System. After working for the BBC in New York City last summer, Mia helped to jumpstart the BBC campus program and was offered a writing position with the travel section of bbc.com for her senior year. On campus, Mia has worked for a number of news sources, including WMUC Sports Radio, Unwind Magazine, Capital News Service, and Stories Beneath the Shell News, which she co-founded with five other journalism students. Aside from journalism, Mia has been actively involved with the Alternative Breaks Program and College Park Scholars, where she was part of the Media, Self, and Society cohort. I got to know her earlier this year when she coordinated the Voices of Social Change lecture in March featuring Michelle Norris and Nina Totenberg from National Public Radio. Please join me in welcoming to the podium Mia Simon. a little taller. I wore heels today, so, you know, a little bit longer. Okay, woo! Take a second, okay. Well, what an honor it is for me to stand in front of all of you today. The Philip Merrill College of Journalism collectively houses some of the brightest, funniest, most multifaceted students in the country and maybe even the world. Does that count as editorializing? <laughs> so be it. Every single member of the Merrill Spring 2015 graduating class is a reflection of what it means to be Merrill made. I would be remiss if I didn't start by thanking the many people who have motivated, inspired, and comforted me over the past four years. First, I want to thank the amazing faculty and staff. I am very lucky. I've had the opportunity to work on tours and panels with Olive Reed, learn about the rule of thirds and using the world as my tripod with Bethany Swain, had fun in Nat Geo with Charlie McDonald, been a teaching assistant for Dr. Chada, sat and drank coffee with Professor Stepp, contemplating the meaning of my life multiple times with Josh Davidsberg, <laughs> talked about the future of our college with Associate Dean Lorente, hosted events with Dean Delg Delglish, and even after getting one or two um, Merrill Fs in his 201 class, uh, I still got nominated to speak at this graduation by the one and only Danny Jacobs, who also served as the commencement speaker when he graduated from our college a couple years ago. So all you freshmen who are struggling, you can still make it. It's all good. <laughs> um, but how many other majors can say that they have had that, um, that many personal interactions with those who have taught them? That is the norm for our college. All of us can probably name a professor or staff member who has impacted us in a positive way. Thanks to all the amazing people who walk through Merrill and do everything in their power to make us smile and add to our success stories every single day, whether it be a smile at the coffee bar or an email that could potentially lead us to an internship. To our friends and family, wow. If you were to tell my mom and dad 15 years ago that I would be receiving a degree from a top journalism institution 15 years ago, they would probably sigh and think that this moment co couldn't come soon enough. I seriously question why I had to go to school. I was convinced that my two sisters and I could form the next Destiny Child group and everything would work out for us. <laughs> but my parents knew better. There's a saying that says it takes a village to raise a child, and I am a testament to that notion, as well as my fellow classmates. Thanks to our family and friends for loving us, supporting us, laughing at us and with us, telling us when we were wrong and for never losing faith in us. And last, but furthest from the least, to my fellow classmates, my friends, my extended family. Freshman year seems like 
It was just about a week ago. <laughs> but we did it. After the countless sleepless nights breaking stories and editing footage, carrying equipment all across Maryland, Virginia, and DC, counting clips and interning when our friends were experiencing college, we finally did it. We have answered the questions about whether or not journalism is a good major, and we have showed them that our industry is alive and well. The day that I was notified that I was voted student speaker also happened to be the day that Baltimore, a treasured city to many of us, began to be spotlighted because of the riots that were taking place. I remember making a Facebook status about it, being a typical millennial, about, about being the commencement speaker and feeling guilty about it. Why am I talking about an accomplishment while journalists Officers and civilians were in the middle of, of civil unrest. As I read updates from the Baltimore Sun, checked Twitter repeatedly, and left WJLA on my TV, I was both overwhelmed and amazed by the entire experience. The next morning, I woke up and saw many people berating the media for their coverage. How could this be happening? Why were people going after those who were providing information? In that moment, I wasn't upset. I was proud. Some of our very own graduates were down in the streets of Baltimore covering what we may see in history books when our children sit where we are right now. They are my heroes. We have had the opportunity to cover inaugurations, conference switches, civil rights movements, campus events, and countless other monumental moments. We have often been in the middle of the action, forced to go in our maturity as people and as journalists. That is the epitome of what it means to be Merrill made. We were more than students, we were professionals. When major companies are looking for hired help, they call Merrill. Our compensation may be low sometimes, but our bylines and photo credits are priceless. Never lose sight of just how capable you are. Not only did we get accepted to this premier institution, we excelled and are about to disembark as alums. That is powerful. But once we leave our beautiful campus, we mustn't forget one another. There's this thing called horizontal loyalty. It basically means that we need to look out for one another and support each other along the way. It was brought up during a panel hosted by the um, Povet Center a few weeks ago. Horizontal loyalty suggests that we look for people in the same wavelengths as us to promote ideas of synergy. Instead of going after one another, we should support one another so that we can simultaneously be successful. It's kind of like when six crazy sophomores decided to start their own mu online multimedia publication. Um, so my sophomore year, I co-founded an organization with Jatera and Natasha, Rian and, and Shan, who's in the crowd, and then Ben helped us out. And it was a pivotal moment for me, and I hope to carry that on and share that legacy um, after I leave this institution. I choose to remain loyal to Merrill because this journalism school has given me so much more than education. And I'm sure that many of my classmates shared my sentiments. It gave me confidence, like the confidence to give the speech despite my fears of falling, or talking too fast, or saying, like I said, if you saw that video that was posted on the Mirror website. <laughs> um, it has given me drive, the drive to go after what I want and know that I have the skills to get there. It has given me some of my very best friends. It has given me humbleness, something that I confused with weakness when I first entered college. My envy for the incredible talent that all of you hold within rapidly changed to a sense of admiration for the work that all of you do. But most importantly, Merrill gave me the chance to interact, study, and live among each and every one of you. I may not remember every single piece that I covered in and around College Park, but I'll always smile when I think about the wonderful friends that I made in my skills and capstone classes. The stories that we covered in CNS may become a blur, but I'll never forget the hugs and laughs shared between me and my fellow Tuesday producers. I will forever be grateful, honored, appreciative, and overwhelmed with love to have been chosen to represent this wonderful group of students. There's so much more I could list, but our journeys are far from over. The fun has just begun, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for all of us, but know that I will be rooting for all of you along the way. Once again, thanks for the memories, family, and please stay in touch.